Up until this point, the Bee and Puppycat cartoon show has been rather short. You can binge the entire first series in about an hour and a half, but the series itself is rich in lore and deep characters that really make you think. It's a show that appears to be for children, and even though it possesses slight profanity, it's nothing worse than what you would hear in the schoolyard, and it visits concepts that the current generation as well as their predecessors know well, such as the inability to hold down a job, not being able to chase your dreams, as well as betrayal in your love life. The show is very deep, but also playful in a way that anyone can get into easily, even if you're only there for the comedy, which it never skimps out on. But on the side of lore, as said before, there's a lot here, and since Lazy in Space has dropped, it's probably best for us to catch up on all of this. Bee and Puppycat first aired as part of our cartoon hangover lineup, and has since become a smash hit. If you haven't seen it yet or want to catch up, be sure to check it out. We have it listed among our videos for everyone to enjoy, and be sure to stream it on Netflix. We'll leave a link in the video as well as in the description below. Lazy in Space is gonna be awesome. We've been waiting for this for three years and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. With the release of such a great show, it is very apparent that Frederator indeed does love you. Era of the Space Outlaw The Space Outlaw falls in love with the Space Princess and the two vow to run away together. But before this can come to pass, the Space Outlaw is betrayed by the Princess and captured by the Space King, who attempts to use magic to capture him. But instead, the feelings of betrayal that the space outlaw feels causes this magic to instead turn him into the titular character, Puppy Cat. At some point in time, a princess was lost and upset, only to be saved by a lonely octopus who had fallen in love with her hair. The lonely octopus would go on to help the princess and bring her home, where, to show her appreciation, she cut some of her hair and tied it into an octopus-shaped knot and gave it to her hero. The lonely octopus went on to take the hair with him everywhere until the knot failed and caused the hair to float away. The lonely octopus scrambles to collect the hair but finds itself in a knot. It pulls so hard that it rips itself apart attempting to get the hair. According to legend, this is where jellyfish came from. Era of Solo Puppy Cat at some point thereafter, Puppycat is known to have begun his work in temp space doing temporary jobs under the supervision of temp bot. Among these, we know he went to Cloud World at this point, where not only did he defeat the Eye, but he also completed every submission and grinded to max level, 100% completing his file. He also at some point in time was known to have watched over Wallace the Fish in Fishbowl space while Wallace awaited his mother's return. At some point during this era, B would be born. Her father is known to have worked at Glitch Gorge and was a genius with electronics. It's known that B also grew very sick as a child, which spurred her father to create a new game that he allowed her to play until she got better and became a bit too obsessed. Her father is known to have disappeared at some point. Whether he died or merely left her alone is unknown. However, we do know he left her with a box that sings her a special happy birthday song every year and presents her with a single piece of candy. It also repairs any damage done to her robotic limbs. At some point during this time, Cardamom is born to his mother. Whether she became comatose before this or after is unknown. His father is also unknown. It's hinted that she might be the Jellyfish Princess, and whether the Jellyfish Princess and the Space Princess are the same person is further unknown. Sometimes I like to headcanon that maybe the Space Outlaw is Cardamom's father, but alas, this is a timeline video, not a speculation video. At some point in time, she meets Deckard, who becomes a lifelong friend and crush. B is known to have a hard time holding down a job, has worked the same job as Deckard in the past, and worked specifically at a cat cafe. Era of B and Puppy Cat One night, coming home from being fired, a portal opens up and a cat dog comes out. She calls it Puppy Cat and decides to take it home with her. There, she believes it'll be best for her to take care of a pet. She would be visited by Deckard who brings her a casserole. She and Puppy Cat split it and then B has an acid trip dream about Puppy Cat. She'd be looking for a job at the temp agency, however, due to being unable to hold down a job, having no notable skills, and never getting any higher education beyond high school, she is denied work. She then engorges herself upon the candy and departs. She would go dumpster diving for toys for her new pet and returns with cat food, dog food, because you never know, a stuffed eggplant, a bone with a mouse tied to it, and a bed. Having no job, Puppy Cat would produce a letter which, upon getting his paw print, allows them to travel to Temp Space, where Temp Bot welcomes Puppy Cat back and threatens to incinerate B due to security measures. 
However, when Puppycat vouches for her, she's allowed to be taken on job with him. They're taken to Fishbowl Space, where Puppycat would once more need to watch Wallace. To make him feel better, he tells him the story about the space outlaw and the space princess. This fairy tale, B suspects, isn't a fairy tale. A monster with two mouths and plenty of spines emerges from Wallace's mouth to attack Puppycat, but is defeated with the help of B. Second Temp Job After having another strange dream about Puppycat, B awakens to find a recipe in a food magazine and decides to make it with Deckard to thank him for the casserole he made her before. It's revealed in this episode that Deckard is neglecting his future and hopes of entering a cooking school just to take care of B, who is too childlike to take care of herself. B goes to the store and stops Puppycat from buying weapons that they don't need so she can buy ingredients, and decides to buy a pack of gum as she hits her budget's limit with the ingredients. She goes over where she tries to help Deckard cook. Cass would show up with a set of hamburgers which B shamelessly devours. Learning that they're missing an ingredient, B rushes to the bathroom to take another quick temp job with Puppycat to make enough money to buy their last ingredient. Tempbot informs them of a job at Jelly Cube Planet in which the caretaker there needs someone to fertilize the cherry on the other side of the planet. It's later revealed that this cherry is a monster that eats people and that the fertilizer is indeed meant to be B. She manages to kill it and spit her gum into the beast's remains, which works just as well as anything else. B doesn't take revenge on the caretaker, but does take his head leaf as recompense and uses it to complete the recipe. However, Deckard by now is already asleep, and so it does not get eaten. Third temp job. B and Puppycat are watching a marathon of their favorite show, Pretty Patrick. However, Cardamom appears, stating that B's toilet is leaking into his own toilet, and that as the landlord, he's here to fix it. To do so, however, he demands room, which means she must leave the house. They go to the beach, where they search for a restaurant that's showing Pretty Patrick, but to their sorrow, there is no restaurant playing the show. B decides that they'll just go to Temp Space and use Tempbot, who appears to be a big monitor, as a television to watch Pretty Patrick on. However, instead, they're forced onto a job, where B is dressed like a cat and sent to a cat bathhouse. There, the cats fawn over her and serve her hand and foot, neglecting Puppy Cat, who they see as repulsive. Lost in the Pretty Patrick show, B fails to see that Puppycat is being left out. When she spills something on her outfit, the cats decide to give her a bath, but B hates water, so she escapes. With Puppycat's apparently repulsive body, she manages to escape. It's revealed that somehow, B had lodged a can of beans into the toilet, much to Cardamom's utter confusion. He does record the Pretty Patrick show for them, though they're too tired to watch it when they get back. Fourth temp job. It's Bee's birthday, and she starts it in front of a box which sings her a very special happy birthday song before offering her a candy. Puppycat is surprised because he didn't know and asks what she wants to do for her birthday. She informs him that on her birthday, she likes to sleep so long that she gets a headache. Puppycat informs her that this was the same thing she did every day, and so she takes Puppycat to an arcade, which used to be a tradition for her. They go in, reactivate the power, and proceed to play the games. When they run out of tokens, Puppycat offers her a temp job to buy more, but she doesn't seem like she wants to do it. However, he talks her into it, saying that she can choose what she wants to do. She chooses one of the three, and it takes her to the video game world of Cloud World. Here, B chooses a male avatar and proceeds to learn that the mission she must complete is the defeat of the Eye That Stares. However, she avoids this, attempting to complete all the side quests first. Puppycat offers to help her, but she wants to do it on her own, which takes a while. After time passes, she takes Puppycat up on his offer to help her, and they use the power of his 100% completion file to defeat the eye. Fifth Temp Job Rent is due, and for the first time, B is on time. She goes alongside Deckard to pay rent, but they both discover Cardamom is sick. They offer various things to him to make him feel better, but he requests Puppycat to stay with him, which Puppycat only accepts when he hears Pretty Patrick in the background. However, as he's watching Pretty Patrick, he's ambushed by Sticky the dog and Cardamom, who attempts to force them to get married in the hopes of waking his sleeping mother. He heard in old stories that sleeping princesses could be awakened by the kiss of a prince, and hoped to become more princely by helping Sticky find love with Puppycat. Meanwhile, Deckard and B are hanging out, and B learns that Deckard has been refusing to go to cooking school so he could stay with her, and this makes her upset. It is then that she sees Puppycat stuck in a window attempting to escape. 
She stands on Deckard's back and tries to pull him out, however he's unable to fit through the window and so she decides to take a temp job to help him escape. But to her surprise, she brings not Puppycat with her, but Deckard. Together they're given a temp job to help an owner who doesn't trust his employee. He commissions them to watch his worker, Muli, while the owner is gone to use the bathroom. As they watch this worker, they help him make more donuts, which he hopes will allow anyone who eats it to make their dreams come true. However, as they make donuts, arms come out of the black hole at the center of the planet and attack them. They attempt to drag Muli in and succeed, even though B attempts to stop them. This leads to B's arms being ravaged by the monsters and send her into a robotic trance where she single-handedly defeats the monster. Returning home, B is shown having her arms repaired by the box as Puppycat returns home. She tells Puppycat that they're both complete mysteries to each other it seems, and they both sit down to talk more about themselves. Deckard is shown leaving home to go to cooking school where he's ambushed by his family. He's then walked by his sister Cass to the train station where he boards it and it leaves. And with that, we are completely caught up to the series. The second season, Lazy in Space, can be found on Netflix. And for those who would love to see the first season, we'll leave a link for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click the like button to show your support for the video. Click the subscribe button to show your support for the channel as a whole. Click the bell on the side to be notified when a new video drops. We've got plenty of videos you'll love and more coming out every day, so be sure to click the bell to be reminded. Peace out.